Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how to utilize and manipulate with working planes in the draft workbench. It is also applicable for the BIM workbench. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this tutorial. I have this sample file with a building as a reference to see what we are doing. And the first important thing is to note that you can see your active working plane in the work plane switcher here. And to see it visually, you should turn on the grid. So if I click this toggle grid, I will turn this on. You can see with the grid where the working plane is uh, located. You can see these green and red axes and where they meet here is the center of the working plane. So you can see I have it in the corner of my building and coincidentally the top plane, if it doesn't have star sign next to here, it means that the center of the working plane is located at the center of the global coordinate system. This is how the global coordinate system is oriented. So first off, why it's important to know how I've got my working plane set up. It is because the basics of the draft objects that you create. So I will create a rectangle. So they are created on the plane. You can see that this rectangle was created on that plane. You can see when I look from the front, the plane, the plane looks like a line because it's in that in that uh, working plane. What if I wanted to create a rectangle up here? How would I do that? I cannot do it while having the top working plane active. So I want to switch it and I can switch working planes by clicking this work plane switching toggle. So if I click it, it opens up the task panel with setting up the working plane. And first we've got these five basic options. So up until now we use the top working plane. If I switch to front, I click it, you can see that the working plane has switched to the, so it's aligned with the front view. So now if I look from the front view or I don't even have to do that, I can again start drafting a rectangle and I create the rectangle in on that plane. So this is nice. And I can also switch to the side working plane. And you can see now it's aligned with the left and right uh, viewing angles. So now if I create a plane or a circle or a triangle polygon, it's created uh, on that on that plane. Now let's take a look at another option. And now it's important how I've got my view set up. So if I get, let's say this view set up and I go to the working plane switcher and I use this option align to view, the working plane will be automatically set up to be uh, perpendicular to the view. So if I set align to view, uh, the working plane is set up like so. So if I draw a rectangle, now it is creating perfectly perpendicular to the view. And if I rotate my view, you can see how, uh, how it's created. So if I've got my view rotated now this way and I could switch to align to view again, it aligns the working plane to the view. And you can see that the custom sign is, uh, is up here. So I know that it's some custom custom working plane. The last from the basic options, which is automatic. If I select it, it uh, aligns the view to, uh, to aligns the working plane to my view. But if I now rotate the view and I start a command, every time I start a command, the working plane is aligned to the view. So I'm always drafting, always drafting uh, every time I start a command like so the, 
the working plane is reset so every time I start a working plane it's reset like so so this is what the auto means so let me now resume again and let's delete these objects that I created let's reset the the working plane to the top again the default one because let's say I want to create a rectangle here again but I want it to be two meters above the floor level and I will want to create more objects uh, above uh, two meters above that level I can actually move the working plane up so I will click again this work uh, working plane selector and if I set the offset to 2000 in my case it's millimeters and I click the top option you can see that now the working plane is the top but move 2000 millimeters above the floor so now if I create a circle it's created at the height of 2000 millimeters above the floor level now you can also see now a star here this star tells me that the center of the working plane is now not located at the same point as the global coordinate system center so now and I know this by the star and I can use this offset also of course with the other options so if I type in 4000 and offset the front one you can see that now it's offset 4000 millimeters in this direction now a useful option here in this task pane is this option to set previous or the next used working plane so if I click previous it reverts me to the last used one so this one is the two meters above the above the above the above the level and from the top now if I go to previous it uh, it goes again to the one that I used before that or I can move forward and use the use the next so this is quite useful if you switch between two or more uh, working planes now usually it's quite convenient to uh, draw or create new objects when you have got your view set to perpendicular to the working plane and you can achieve it by moving your moving your review rotating your view or you can also use in work plane setup this option center view which centers the view on the center of the work plane and it places it at the perpendicular uh, perpendicular view to the current working plane what's also possible is to move the center of the working plane to the center of the view so now I have the center of the working plane here if I move my view like this and select the top I know that the offset was 2000 and I will check this center plane on view and now I select the top you can see that the center of the working plane was centered at the view position so it's here so up until now we were moving the working planes independently of the geometry but sometimes it's useful uh, to align plane working plane to existing geometry so let's say I want to create a photovoltaic panel on this angled roof how can I uh, align my working plane with this with this roof with the face I do that by selecting the face any face and now if I click this button the working plane is automatically synchronized with the with the face so you can see uh, it's like this so there's also possibility to assign this from the from the taskbar so if I want to let's say draw the photovoltaic panel five centimeters from the from the face I can go to the working plane selector I will uncheck the center plane 
this one and I will type in offset 50 and now I can click this face and if I click away in the 3D space it's automatically synchronized and you can see if I look from the left that there's this uh, offset 5 centimeters. so now if I would want to create those photovoltaic panels like so I could actually also create a thickness like this so this is this is really useful you can also set up a working plane so it goes through a uh, a vertex so let me just change the let me just change the to the top working plane and let's say i want to have this top working plane moved to uh, the edge of the the edge of the roof i can do that by going to the working plane selector and now i can just select the vertex and to make it make sure i'm selecting the vertex i will switch to vertex selection and i will select this let me actually select the bottom one let's say i want to move it to this level and now i will use this move working plane so this will move the existing working plane to uh, be centered at this vertex point so i will click move working plane and now i have this uh, i have this working plane with the center here so this is also a useful feature so these are the basic manipulations that you can do with your working plane uh, i have shown you what these uh, tools do these tools just set how the grid looks like i will not go through this uh, it's quite easy to understand we also know how these tools work and the last thing i show you is how to save the working plane because we know how to revert to the previous and next one but let's say i often work uh, at this i will switch back to switch back to all selection select this face and let's say I often work with this plane on, on this roof and I want to return it to it quite often. I can save this working plane by using this tool create working plane proxy. So if I have got my uh, working plane active and click this working plane proxy creation, it creates this object working plane proxy now if i switch my working plane back to the top and i want to return to my uh to my uh working plane on the roof i will just double click the working plane proxy and you can see you can see the uh, the that the working plane has moved together with the working plane this object also saves the view so if i rotate my view and double click the working plane it returns to the original view so it might be practical to save the view which is perpendicular to the working plane so actually i can do that now i can change the saved view by now i will center the view so i'm looking now at perpendicular to the to the working plane and to save the to associate this view with the working plane proxy i can right click the working plane proxy and choose right camera position so now the camera position is written now if i let's say change uh, let's say if i change the working plane to top and my view is like so and if i double click this working plane proxy it moves not only the working plane but also the view and you can see it's aligned uh, that it's perpendicular to the face which is nice so this is all you need to know about working with working planes in FreeCAD Draft Workbench and also FreeCAD BIM Workbench if you find FreeCAD useful consider supporting the project by donating to it 
The link to the donate page is in the description box below. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next one.